Welcome to the South American country of Peru, known for the famous Machu Picchu. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Peru. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the country of Peru. Population around 33 million. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Peru. Now Ecuador is to the north and Chile is to the south. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Peru. People love Peru because of Machu Picchu. Perched high on a ridge 300 meters above the Urubama River, the majestic Inca city of Machu Picchu is one of the most dramatic settings of a ruined city anywhere in the world. Almost as impressive as the ruins themselves is a spectacular backdrop of steep, lush, and often cloud-shrouded mountains. Standing near the caretaker's hut, looking out over Machu Picchu, the jungle-covered mountain, and the river far below, you can imagine why the Incas chose this place to build their city. Hiram Bingham came across Machu Picchu in 1911 and believed until his death it was the lost city of the Incas, first documented by Spanish soldiers in the 1500s. The journey is also part of the experience of visiting Machu Picchu, whether it's by hiking the Inca Trail or seeing the route by train. In either case, it's impossible not to be inspired by the scenery. People love Peru because of the Inca Trail. The famous Inca Trail is a four-day hike which terminates at Machu Picchu and is regarded by many as a highlight of their trip to Peru. The scenic trail is often more demanding than what many people are expecting, but it's also rewarding and one of the most popular things to do in Peru. A couple of different starting points of the Inca Trail exist, but the traditional four-day hike begins at kilometer 82 at the Cusco Aguascaliente rail line. From this point, the trail passes more than 30 Inca ruins and traverses through spectacular scenery. The most difficult portion of the trail is the second day of the hike with a climb of 1,200 meters in elevation gain and two high passes. The hike must be done with an agency and reservations should be booked well in advance, particularly in high season of June to August. Some agencies offer a shorter version of the hike, which entails either the last two days or just the last day of the hike. There are campgrounds at intervals along the trail and one at the base of Machu Picchu. Depending on the type of tour, hikers can either carry their own packs or have it transported for them. The daily number of hikers and porters on the trail is strictly enforced. People love Peru because of Cusco's architectural treasures. Walking through the streets of Cusco is like wandering through a museum with history built upon history in this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Inca ruins have been used in the foundation of many of the lovely old colonial buildings lining the narrow roads showcasing the city's long history. The main square, Plaza de Armas, in the city center is home to the Cathedral and La Campania, two equally impressive structures. The square is also a great place to start a walking tour, grab a meal, or people watch during the day. And while there are countless buildings and museums worth visiting, the Church of Santo Domingo resting on the ruins of the Inca site of Coracancha is one of Cusco's must-see attractions. People love Peru because of Lake Titicaca. The sparkling blue water of Lake Titicaca is surrounded by rolling hills and traditional small villages. The lake area is a mix of beautiful scenery and culture that sets it apart from other regions of the country. Sitting at 3,820 meters above sea level, Lake Titicaca is known for being the highest navigable lake in the world. A boat trip to the islands and surrounding villages is the best way to appreciate the lake. One of the main tourist attractions is the Oras Floating Islands, which sustain small communities of Oras Indians. These are man-made islands constructed of reeds that have sustained a traditional way of life since the time of the Incas. What you'll see on tours to these islands is designed for tourism, but it does offer a glimpse into a traditional way of life. The floating islands are only one very small part of Lake Titicaca's attractions, with the real charm lying in the small villages and the hills along the shores of Lake Titicaca. People of Peru because of the Coca Canyon. Although it was once thought to be the deepest canyon in the world, Coca Canyon, twice as deep as the Grand Canyon, is the second deepest after nearby Cotahasi Canyon. 
The canyon reaches a depth of 3,400 meters and is the result of a seismic fault between two volcanoes. At the base, far below, is a winding river. The Coca Canyon area has been inhabited for thousands of years and was home to the Kalugua, Cabana, and eventually the Inca peoples. Stone terracing along the canyon walls dates to 800 AD and is still in use today. People of Peru because of the Nazca Lines. The mysterious Nazca Lines are an unusual sight that will leave you with a sense of awe. These huge images on the desert floor were relatively undiscovered until planes flying over the area in the 1920s saw the lines from the air and realized they formed distinct patterns and images. From the air, it is possible to see 70 different plant and animal drawings as well as hundreds of lines and other geometric shapes. Some of these lines stretch as long as 10 kilometers and they are spread out over hundreds of square kilometers. Most notable among the features are a lizard measuring 180 meters long, a condor with a 130 meter wingspan, and several others that include a monkey, hummingbird, killer whale, and spider. Although it's not known exactly who created the lines and how and why, theories hold that the lines were the product of the Nazca cultures sometime between 900 BC and 600 AD. Why were they created is the subject of much debate. People of Peru because of the Sacred Valley. Less than an hour's drive north of Cusco is the beautiful Sacred Valley. This fertile valley has many Inca ruins worth exploring, but it is also a peaceful area to spend some time wandering through the markets or soaking up local culture. Among the highlights in the valley are the Pisic ruins and the Sunday market. Here you'll find an amazing selection of local handcrafts. A little out of the way, but worth the trip, is the town of Moray, with circular terracing used as an agricultural testing area by the Incas. Researchers feel that this innovative style of farming was the Incas version of a greenhouse. Different levels in different areas had warmer or cooler temperatures along with more or less sun. People love Peru because of Oleantantambo. The ruins and fortress at this beautiful little town of Oleantantambo should be on your list of places to see when visiting the Sacred Valley. The town is a very walkable and fun to explore. Like Pizak, it's home to an excellent assortment of vendors selling handmade handcrafts. It's a photogenic spot with two imposing Inca ruins towering over the village. Take a bit of time to wander up the hill and explore the ruins. Highlights include the impressive Wall of the Six Monoliths and Bath of the Princess. People of Peru because of Arequipa's historic city center. Arequipa at more than 2,300 meters is often regarded as Peru's most beautiful city. Set against a backdrop of snow-capped mountains, the city center is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. Arequipa's main claim to fame is the old architecture constructed of stiller stone, a volcanic rock that radiates a bright color in the sunlight. Most of the colonial buildings in the historic city center are made from this stone, giving rise to its name of the White City. People of Peru because of Lima's Historic Center. Lima's Historic Center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The city was founded in the 1500s and although many of the original structures were destroyed, it still holds significant historic value and it's a pretty place to wander around. One of the most pleasant places to visit in Lima is the main square, Plaza de Armas or Plaza Mayor, in the heart of the city's historic district. A majority of the structures were rebuilt following the devastating earthquake of 1746. The highlights around the Plaza de Armas are the cathedral on the east side and the government palace on the north side. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Peru. If you've got a reason why you love Peru, pop it in the comment section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!